Yo boys, what's up? I'm back with another tutorial. Since you liked the last tutorial so much. And today, I'm gonna be breaking down this melody I made. It's like a Gunna slash YSL type melody. And I'll be making a beat to it from scratch. Alright, so let's break it down. I started off with this pizzicato string from a contact library from uh, Spitfire Audio. I played an arpeggiating pattern. It goes from A minor to D minor at the end. It basically plays the high note. And at the half of the last bar, I go, I take the A minor chord and I go one, two, three, four, five steps up. And then you create like that darkish kind of vibe. At the end, instead of making it go like this, I make it go down. Then I took this tone wheel organ from Analog Labs. It's a preset called Church Chords. And I just played along the chords. It's just a A minor chord and a D minor chord. I put some chorus on it. A filter. From EQ. EQing out the lows and the highs. And then some reverb. So it sounds a bit more spacious. At the end I, I automated the volume going a little bit up. Because the D minor chord was a bit too quiet. Then I found this obu hit. I found it on Splice. It's basically an A minor chord. I copied it over. And then made it unique and pitched it up 500 semitones. And I copied that over. For the effects I put on a little altar boy. I took it down one octave and turned down the mix. So it really adds that low end in the, in the sound. I took a filter freak for like a, a quick LFO on the frequency peaks and I put the reverb on it. For the last sound I took this violin uh, string sound. It's just a single note and it adds like a little bit of texture. Altogether it sounds like this. Then I put Abbey Road Blades on the master and I turned down the wet knob like really much. It adds a little bit more space. It kind of gives it like this realistic feel to it. Okay, so that was the melody. Um, now I'll be making a beat to it from scratch. So first of all, I'll add it to Mixer Track 1 and put the EQ on there and take out all the low end. So now I can start making drums on it. For most of the drums, I'll be using the name drum kit. It's a drum kit me and my boy Birchroll are working on. We will drop it soon and it will be free. So make sure to cop it when it drops. So we just made the melody in A minor. So it starts off on A. So I'm gonna pitch a melody 100 semitones up. So it's in A sharp minor. I'm just gonna create a really simple two-step hide pattern with a roll at the end. I'm adding an open hand to the beginning of every four bars. And don't forget to add the Wheezy Fox. I'm highlighting all the sounds, so now I'm gonna arrange the beat. And yeah guys, that's how you make a wheezy beat for Gunna slash YSL in under 10 minutes. Hope you liked the video. Let me know what you want for the next video. And I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.